So niche research can be one of the more complicated things when you're starting out as a beginner on Amazon KDP. But I'm going to show you some of the main tools that I've used to earn over a thousand pounds each month. The first method we'll take a look at is actually on Amazon and this simply involves just taking a look at the best sellers list and this is just Amazon's way of telling us what is actually in demand. So to do this all we need to do is go to amazon.com then we go over to the left and we click on best sellers. Once this loads then we just click on books then to the far left we've got a whole list of different categories that we can take a look through to start our niche research. So let's go with children's books for this example. Then you can see to the far left, it's given us a list of sub niches that you can go through. So then you can click on the activities, crafts and games as an example to niche down again. Once this loads up, then we can also click on activity books. Now under activity books, it's given us a list of niches. You can pick any of those. In this instant, I'm just going to go with hidden picture. And the great thing is now what it will do is tell us the 100 best selling books on Amazon in this niche. So if we just take a look and scroll through this list, obviously avoiding Marvel or any Disney brands, then we can get quite a few ideas of what is actually in demand and what customers are looking for. So definitely take your time with this strategy and have a look on the first and the second page. Also, you can really find some great ideas, then go ahead and validate the niche. You can also use this same method in the Canada market, the UK market, in the German market as well to get some fantastic ideas of what is in demand in those markets. So the only drawback is it's going to take you a little bit of time to go through each niche and find out what is trending and what people are looking for. But if you take your time with it, you'll definitely be able to find some great ideas. The second method also uses Amazon. I do a lot of my research on Amazon. I don't use too many tools, but for this method, it would be useful to download DS Amazon Quick View as it shows you each book's BSR very quickly and saves you a lot of time. So if we go to the search bar and we just type in a generic term such as dog coloring book, then we can go to the far left grid and we can scroll down. And what we have the option of doing is seeing the new releases in the last 30 days. And this will give you a great idea of what is kind of selling right away. So if you see any book with a good BSR, then definitely take the time to research it, validate that niche. Don't copy that book, but create something unique from the ideas that you've been able to take away. Now for this third method, the tool that I'm going to be talking about is Helium 10. Honestly, compared to all the other keyword tools, this is the best. You can use the free version and sign up to that. However, you are limited to a certain amount of searches that you can do, but you will definitely be impressed by all the features that it does have to offer. So what I'm going to do for this example is actually use the black box, which is described as saving time and energy, researching every niche in existence on Amazon to find the next perfect product to sell. And this option will help you to do that in seconds. So you can click here to the far right or go to the options on the far left and just click black box. Then you select categories and make sure that you've ticked books. And the monthly revenue is really down to you, but just for a minimum, I'm going to put down $100. You don't have to worry about the price too much, but again, it's down to you. Review count, I usually put maybe a max of five to 10 because you don't want to be competing with a book with maybe 50 or 100 reviews. I then leave the review rating blank and then you can click on the advanced filters. You can type in any specific title keyword search for, for this instant, I've put coloring book and then for the best sellers rank, I'd like to look in between 100,000 to 300,000. But again, that's up to you as well. And then you just click the search and scroll through all the options that you can find. So you can see how good this tool is, all the information that it brings up. It saves you all of that time of the previous two methods of scrolling through and it just gives you all the data there to analyze. However, I mentioned you are limited by the number of searches that you can do and you are not able to see more and further results. The fourth method that I'm going to talk about is actually a website and it's called nationaltoday.com. 
And the great thing about this website is that it gives us all the national days for the US and the UK. It's very detailed. So you can take a look through the, the categories such as animals, art and entertainment, cause, cultural and so on. Then you can take a look through each specific month. You can also put your email address down with them so that they can alert you to any upcoming national days, which keeps you in the loop. So let's take a look at April, for example, it's telling us that there's over 251 April holidays. So if we just let that open up, you can see that it lists out all the ongoing events for each specific day. So if you can see for April 1st, we've got April Fool's Day, we've got Walk to Work Day. And scrolling down a little bit more, you can see we've got National Volunteer Month and Parkinson's Awareness Month. And even if you don't understand a particular event, you can just click on it and it will give you all the detailed information about it that you can just scroll down and read. So if you're somebody that's into doing seasonal or holiday niches, then this is definitely a great website for you. The final method I'm going to quickly discuss is actually Google Trends. Now we know that this may not directly correlate with Amazon, but Google is the largest search engine in the world. So if you're able to understand what people are searching for, validate the niche on Amazon, making sure that there's not a lot of competition, then we've got a good chance potentially of your book even ranking well on the Google search. Just for example, you see these books here, coloring books for grown-ups that show when you just type in the word coloring books onto Google. So there's a couple of simple ways to use this. You can scroll down and just take a look at recently trending. Then you can also click on more trending searches as well. You can also take a look at the year in search. So you can have a look back on any previous year and maybe you can see what keywords were quite popular around this time. Or at the top, you can just type into the search bar. We'll just go simply with coloring book. So I'm just going with the UK spelling of coloring just for this example. And you also have the option to filter by a specific country or you can do it via worldwide. You can also look at the past maybe hour, four hours, day, seven days, 30 days. You can filter by any specific category. Uh, you can also do any kind of particular search. So this first section shows the interest over time. 100 is the, the best score and 50 shows that there, there is some interest and obviously zero shows nothing. So we can see that, you know, towards December time, the interest for coloring books really increases. So maybe you might want to make one for around that time. But then you can also compare that information to over the past five years to see if there's any correlation. The next section is just showing you interest by subregion. So in the UK split into Wales, England, Northern Ireland and Scotland and shows you the interest in each area. Let's say you search by worldwide, then it will show you the interest in each specific country, which might be a bit more useful. Then to the bottom right is also showing us related topics so we can get a few ideas. And then to the right hand side, it's also showing us related queries so we can take a look through this list and maybe get a few ideas obviously again be careful of any trademark terms i'm seeing encanto coloring book maybe iron maiden coloring book alice cooper coloring book but still keep scrolling through to get a few ideas so i'm seeing wedding coloring book i'm seeing anxiety coloring book toddler coloring book football coloring book so definitely take your time with Google Trends to look through all the data that it provides you and create something that people are searching for. So thanks for taking the time to watch another video. If you've got any questions, then just let me know in the comments. And I hope this video helps you a lot.